we started our discussion uh, about the most recent heinous terrorist attack yesterday in Jaffa in Jerusalem um, and uh, and uh, uh, Patika Tikva my wife and my two grandchildren and granddaughter were having dinner on the beach not very far from where that happened I don't know exactly whether it was a hundred meters or a thousand meters but um, and it just uh, it uh, it brings home that uh, it can happen. It can happen anywhere at any time. And what Bibi and I talked about was uh, not just the death of Taylor, uh, Taylor Force, who was uh, served two tours, one in Afghanistan, one in Iraq, West Point graduate, a brilliant future. Um, but we talked about the other wounded and the students he was with. and. Uh, our instinct was the same. We both said, let's go, let's go to the hospital now. Let's go see them. Let's go see the families. Joy, I appreciate your strong condemnation of terrorism. Nothing justifies these attacks. But unfortunately, President Abbas has not only refused to condemn these terrorist attacks, his Fatah party actually praised the murderer of this American citizen as a Palestinian martyr and a hero. Now this is wrong, and this failure to condemn terrorism it's, it should be condemned itself by everybody in the international community. We will crush Daesh. We will crush ISIS. Together we will crush them. They will not be sustained. I promise you. It will take time, but they will not be sustained. I did not come with a plan, I just came to speak to a friend and to be able to have an open discussion in a closed room <laughs> um, where we, we brainstormed a whole range of things. But it is not all hopeless. It is not all hopeless. Thank you, everybody.